Hello there, I am Badgelo and welcome to the Pacific Warfare mod. Today I will be comparing the ships within the mod to their real life counterparts, making a visual comparison and diving into some of the history of such vessels. So, to kick the video off, the USS Iowa, the ship too big to fit on screen. They were a heavy class of destroyer operated by the US Navy. Now I think they built six of these, I may be wrong. And they were laid down, I think, in 1942 during the war. So, And this ship actually has some serious firepower. It's got 405mm guns. Obviously, it's got nine guns on three main batteries. It's got a plethora of anti-aircraft guns. And as you can see now, that's the main battery firing. Ridiculously powerful. And of course, this ship actually has a really interesting history. I'm not going to dive into it too much, because this is just a brief summary, but... Not only was the ship built in 1942, additionally the ship went on to serve in the Korean War, as well as being in multiple of the most intense battles in the Pacific. Obviously, as everyone knows, it was the ship that the Japanese surrendered on in Tokyo Bay, that they signed the, obviously the surrender on. Ready for battle. Now, moving on, we have the Imperial the Japanese Minekazi. Now, the Minekazi was sort of like a cruiser patrol ship, and it was kind of a project that carried over from the end of World War I, and they were pretty much like drummed up in the 1920s, of which 15 of them were built. A few of them had to be cancelled. Now, these, these bore four 120mm guns. They actually had a top speed of 39 knots, so quite fast. And they were always used in like a secondary role of uh, like patrol tasks or reconnaissance. Essentially the same thing. There you go. I don't think they saw major action compared to some of the other ships on this list. But very a very nice looking ship. And obviously it sports the flag of the Imperial Japanese Navy there. Ready. Now moving on, you have the Fletcher class. Now the Fletcher class was a destroyer class of which 175 were built, making it the most produced ship yes. in this video. Now they were built between 1942 and 44, so during the war, and they pretty much did most of the work for the US Navy in the yes. Pacific. So they were a long range crew, like, uh, they were a long range ship as well, so it could go quite far, which was required in the Pacific. And they were essentially uh, like serving in yes. like anti-submarine roles, patrol roles, uh, destroyer escort stuff like that they sunk 29 imperial japanese submarines so that's testament to their performance now we have the brooklyn class cruiser which was uh, one of nine or there were nine of them shall i say built for the u.s navy in the 1930s now these ships bore a 152 millimeter gun and obviously they had five of those guns five triple six inch or 152 millimeter guns so that's a lot of firepower Ready. Get them. Full stop. okay so now we are going on to the new orleans class now these ships pretty much got into the biggest scuffles of the pacific war most of them were sunk there was only four left at the end of the war now these guys bore some pretty heavy guns just as the Brooklyn class does and as you can see the design is uh, very different here we've got like rubber dinghies on top of the guns and stuff going on but I think it looks quite cool really wise guy. Ready for battle. so now we move on to the county class cruiser uh, of the Royal Navy 13 of which were built during the interwar period so yes only 10 years behind. Now the county class saw a lot of service during the war and it was one of the ships that were first equipped with radar of course so this was one of the ships that participated in the sinking of the Bismarck uh, the German battleship and obviously they have served in nearly every theatre of the war obviously Pacific, Mediterranean, Atlantic, uh, Indian Ocean. Now additionally to the 13 ships produced by the Royal Navy. The Royal Australian yes. Navy in the 1920s laid down the Australia and the Canberra, which also participated in the war. 
Although the Canberra was abandoned and scuttled during the Battle of Savo Island in 1942. Holding position. Changing direction. Now, moving on, we have the Southampton class. Now, the Southampton class were part of the subclass for the town class. Now, these were light cruisers. They uh, obviously had a range of 5,300 well, 5, nautical miles or 9,800 kilometers and of course they were armed with six, 12 152 millimeter guns so obviously I might not know a lot about battleships I'm just a sudden straight player but I can tell you for sure if they are aimed in your direction you're not going to be having a great day now last but not least the Sendai class light cruiser of the Imperial Japanese Navy now of these only three were built and according to Wikipedia there isn't much information about the ship apparently it's named after a river and these pretty much participated in numerous actions and acted as what's a destroyer flo flotilla leader so if you have a group of ships they're just the one path finding now I couldn't find anything about what battles this guy fought in or you know what so that's pretty much it for the Sendai class. Obviously, it doesn't look like a traditional battleship or cruiser. It's uh, it's got some bits and bobs going on here.
Changing direction. En route. I don't give a shit who saw what, who Fire. did what, or who did who. Don't come to the door. It's okay. It's okay.